Welcome to Papa Junk Shop. Right beside the hater, so you're gonna hear some noisy background noise. <laughs> um, took the blade off the excavator, and I want to drill some holes out here near the outer edge in order to make a tie-down spot if I decide to transport it. And that's one nice thing about having two of the same kind of drill presses. You just move the one over just a bit, move the table up and down, and uh, use it for support. So, when I took this off, and I'll take you over here and show you, it just has bolts going through with threads. And I don't think that's going to give it much wear. These threads are going to be chewing into the brackets and the cylinder. So, I'm debating on whether I want to make some pins for it instead of just having a bulb in there. Um, you know, you do move it up and down quite a bit. You use it to stabilize yourself when you uh, are digging, so probably going to wear pretty quick, so not sure. Not sure just yet what I'm going to do. Now that multi-step bit worked great for that. So we got a couple of tie-down points in the blade. So now I got to decide whether I want to make some pins without threads or not. Now trying to determine what I want to do about these uh, threaded bolts being a pivot point for this blade. I discovered that there's a lot of a lot of room there. So, it's kind of flopping around, but when you come to the, the end of the cylinder, it has a bushing in it. So I'm not sure why they didn't, in the same way with this, it's all sloppy in there. So I don't know why they didn't put bushings in there. Two. So... Not sure if I want to try making some bushings, or if they don't have bushings in there because it's not lined up really well, or what the deal is. So maybe I'll make a, a set of bushings and see what happens, if it'll go back together. Originally I was just going to make some pins and then have uh, you know, things like you use on a three-point hitch, you know, you just drop down in and snap in place, but I got thinking they might have nuts and stuff on these for a reason. It might help strengthen this stuff up. So, I'm going to see if I can come up with a solution and, and keep the bolts in place, but not have everything so sloppy. And if the bushings, you know, if it gets sloppy and the bushings wear out or the threads wear out, they can replace them without having damage to the actual chassis or cylinder. I got my bushings made. Put a hole in them so the grease can go down on the uh, inside of them also, just in case. So just fit right in here like so and then uh, well any other time it wouldn't move So it'll be just, just like that, with a nut on, just like original. <laughs> One-handed stuff never works. 
Anyways, I'll be able to get her assembled, and uh, I also made them for the, the cylinder part. So, just a quickie on something. If you have one of these, you might want to check and see. Might save you some grief later on. Uh, these are 25 millimeter on the outside, and the hole through the middle wound up being. I had it. I was able to drill them. 55 64 if that helps so thanks for watching see you next time don't forget to like and subscribe